Hey guys, welcome back to my shop. So this week I'm going to do a strength test on the miter lock rotor bit. Uh, I made three test samples here. They're all made from pine. I did this one in an end grain. This one is in length grain and I did another one with a length grain as well. Now these two are done with wood glue and this one is done with star bond. They sent me some other glues so I am going to try it and put it to the test and see if it's at par with wood glue. Now if you would like to get some of your own star bond glue, there's a link in the description. Use that link and uh, buy some some Starbond glue. So far I've been doing some tests with it and it's pretty amazing stuff. It comes in different colors. I think they, they sent me a black and a brown and they sent me like a medium and a thick and yeah. I'm going to be doing a video on that alone in the future. But for now, let's do a strength test. So my plan was I'm going to take this outside and I'm going to run it over with my truck. This should be fun. I'm kind of looking forward to doing this. And my plan is I'm going to put this on the ground like that and I'm going to take a board like this and then drive my truck up on it and then it should put downward pressure on it and uh, we'll see if it fails. So my prediction is the one with the length green I'm pretty sure it's probably going to break right about there somewhere. I don't think the joint itself will break. It's pretty strong but it'll be fun to see what happens. And by the way, this is not scientific at all. It's just me wanting to run over stuff with my truck and see stuff break. Let's go outside and run this stuff over. Okay, first test is the long green with wood glue. Yeah, this was just as I expected. The joint itself did not break. As you can see, it broke right beside it. So, you know, I'm pretty confident this is a strong joint. Now let's test the end grain. Now I don't think the end grain is going to break because uh, it's sitting like this. It's not as fragile. So it actually might hold up the truck. But my board uh, that I was using as a ramp, it broke. So I'm gonna have to come up with something better. Looks like that board broke too, but let's keep going. This is not going to stop me. Wow, that is a strong joint. I did not expect that to happen. I can actually see that the corner of this block is digging its way into this uh, two by six they use as a ramp that, by the way, also broke, but I kept on going. Um, yeah, wow, I'm amazed. So if you're gonna use this for drawer boxes, um, it's plenty strong for that. You know, it'll survive your kids and, and, and their kids too, probably. So let's try the Starbond glue. I think it's gonna fail just like the wood glue one did, but um, I'm just interesting to see, interested to see where it'll break, if it'll break at the joint or beside it like the one we did with the wood glue. So let's back up the truck and reset it for the star bond. So just as I kind of was expecting it to break, it failed at the joint. Um, I don't think Starbond glue or any like CA glues, they're all kind of the same. They don't really penetrate the wood like wood glue does and, uh, and get a really good bond. So, you know, that's too bad in a way, but I was kind of expecting that to happen. So kind of no surprise there. Well, I was and wasn't expecting those results. I was expecting this pile of mess to break, but I was also expecting this to break as well, but it didn't. It held the full weight of my pickup truck in the front end of all places as well. It had all that weight of the engine and, and everything else. So I'm actually really impressed. So I would really actually, if you're gonna be building drawers and you need something strong, a strong joint, I would highly recommend the miter lock. It makes for extreme, an extremely strong joint on end grain. 
Well, thanks for watching guys. And if you're new to my channel and you haven't subscribed yet, I encourage you to do so. And also hit the notification bell so you never miss a new video. And also please hit that like button. It'll help this video get, um, get discovered and get more views. So like always, we'll see you in the next one.